What's up, everybody? Jonathan Rose, Active Day Trader. We're going to talk about the Greeks. People are intimidated by the Greeks. Let me simplify them for you. GDXJ, I just picked a random stock. You can pick any stock you want. Delta, Gamma, Theta, Vega, and there's Rho. Ignore Rho. Short-term traders, it's not going to affect you unless all of a sudden rates go from 2% to 10%. Ignore Rho. Delta. The way that you can look at Delta, the way that you can simplify Delta is 17s down here on the 35 strike. Look at that as a 17% chance that GDXJ trades above 35 by expiration. The 29s, the Delta 7. Think of that as a 7% chance that GDX trades under 29 by expiration. 32.50, these are the at the money strikes. Here's what market makers do. If I buy 10 of these, it's $930 of risk. $940 of risk, I can never lose more. If I do that, I'm gonna be long 500 deltas. 10 times 50, 500. If I wanna trade what's called delta neutral, I could buy 10 of these and sell 500 shares of stock. The reason market makers do that is because they don't wanna trade direction they want to trade only volatility. That's exactly everything you need to know about Delta. Theta. Theta is just time. Tomorrow, these options are going to be two cents less because of Theta. 24 days, every day, premium time comes out of these options. Right now, this Theta is two cents. Vega. People think Vega is volatility. Vega is not volatility. Come on, guys. Vega 0.03. What this means is if GDXJ volatility, it's at 29%. If it rallies to 30%, if the VIX goes higher, the market goes lower, if there's more uncertainty in the market, if the Vega is three, if that volatility goes from 29 to 30, these options will rise three cents because of that move in volatility. The Vega shows the effect that volatility will have on the pricing of options. Gamma. Gamma is the opposite of theta. As we get closer to expiration, premium comes out of options faster. Theta comes out faster. At that same time, gamma, because it's the opposite, is going to go higher. Gamma is the amount that delta is going to move per given one point in the underlying instrument. Important to know what I teach my traders all the time. As you get closer to expiration, theta is going to accelerate. If you're long options, the way to make back that theta is you want to scalp the opposite. You want to scalp gamma. Market makers scalp gamma when they're long options to make up for that theta that they're going to lose. Scalping gamma, it's a little bit more in depth that I'm gonna go in this video, but that's an overview of all the Greeks. We got delta, percentage, gamma, it's the opposite of theta. Theta is just time. Remember, theta is still open on Saturday and Sundays, so theta will come out over the weekends. Vega, it's not volatility. Vega is the amount the option will move based upon a change in volatility. And Rho, throw it out the window, ignore Rho, don't bother with it. It's not going to affect you. Hope that helps, guys. It's an overview of all the Greeks simplified. Any more questions? Support at Active Day Trader. I'm happy to help. Have a great day, guys.